Hey, what's up? Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma. And if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. So today is Saturday, and I'm obviously, as you can see, back home in Auckland. So Owen and I actually drove back this morning, and it is currently 20 minutes past 10. So we literally got home like 20 minutes ago. We've come back to Auckland for the weekend because Owen has a game up here this afternoon, actually. So that's at 3 o'clock. So we came back a little bit earlier so we can do some stuff around home. I thought I'd vlog this weekend and bring you guys along with us. We kind of have a little bit of a plan but I don't really know if it's going to go ahead so like I don't know. Stay tuned to find out because I honestly don't know right now. So to start this vlog off I have got <clears throat> very dirty hair. I got home on Wednesday from the South Island. Today's Saturday. I haven't washed my hair since Tuesday so it is definitely in need yeah, it's pretty greasy. It's definitely in need of a wash. So, I wanted to show you guys the hair products I've been using. I also have a few new products to try out, so I wanted to try them out with you guys. Welcome to the bathroom. So, as you guys may have seen, I got my hair dyed, like, a month ago now. No, probably not that long. Three weeks ago. Anyway, I find whenever my hair gets bleached or dyed or coloured or whatever, it goes pretty dry and gross. So, last time I had my hair dyed, like, highlighted with bleach in July, I was using cheap and cheerful shampoo. I knew I'd use purple shampoo, so I literally just got the cheapest one I could find. And that was not a good move on my behalf. My hair got so dead, there were split ends everywhere. It was... <laughs> it needed some serious TLC. And at this time, I one of my friends on Facebook shared this video comparing, like, salon grade shampoo to supermarket shampoo. And I personally was like, mm, shampoo, shampoo. There's no difference. Well... <laughs> There is, let me tell you that. You guys may have seen some Instagram stories and I said I was going to get back to you with how it was going. So I apologise for not properly getting back to you on that one. But I have the products here to show you guys. So, so maybe like a month and a half before I got my most recent colour, I decided to splurge on some good quality shampoo to make sure my hair was healthy when it got um, piloted, coloured, lightened up. I don't know, I'm not a hairdresser, I don't know the terminology. But... I decided to use the shampoo or purchase the shampoo that I'd seen in that Facebook video comparing the supermarket ones to the salon grade ones. So this was a salon grade shampoo and conditioner that was shown in the Facebook video. There's a shampoo and a conditioner and they work obviously hand in hand. And this is like seriously good stuff. It did cost me $75 for both bottles. So at the time I was like, if this doesn't work, this is, I'm going to seriously regret this. But I don't regret it because honestly these made a massive difference even after the first wash I was like wow this is what the heck I've been using these ever since my hair is so much healthier now so much stronger very very happy with it so I wanted to show you guys those today but I also wanted to show you this so these are obviously you can see Olaplex and after I shared this on Instagram got in contact with Olaplex and they offered to send me the whole entire line of stuff, which you guys may have seen on Instagram story when it got sent to me. And I haven't had the chance to try everything yet. So that's what I'm going to do today. So Olaplex are not paying me to make this video. They're not forcing me to make this video. But I want to make it because I want to see how this stuff works. So obviously you have the shampoo and conditioner and you'll notice that that's number four and that's number five. Meaning we've got a step-by-step -step process here. It starts at number zero and I'm pretty sure this isn't even available in New Zealand yet because Olaplex is US based. So they sent this to me from the US and it is an intensive bond building hair treatment. So it's like a leave-in treatment for like 10 minutes. And then you follow it up with this, which is number three, which is a hair perfecter. Don't ask them about number one and two. Don't know where they ended up. I'm pretty sure their salon grades, only salons can use them. And obviously three is followed by four, which is a shampoo. Then five, the conditioner. And then you have number six and seven, which are bond smoothers, which I've already used these because these are like... Amazing. Anyway, I'll get to those later. Apply number zero to dry hair, saturate from root to tip, leave in here for 10 minutes, do not rinse, and then apply a generous amount of number three, rinse with shampoo and conditioner. Well, I've never done this before, so we're going to try it today. This is my first impressions. I'm pretty sure that they may have used this on me when I went to the hairdresser, I actually don't know. I chose to go to the hairdresser I went to because I knew they used Olaplex, and I knew that the conditioner and shampoo had worked for me, so I wanted to carry that through. But, right, I need to try this. This looks like, oh, okay, that's not supposed to come off. Screw it back on. So, I don't really know. Oh, okay, it's coming out. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to, like, get on clothes. So, I've just got an old grey t-shirt on right now. So, it's kind of satisfying. Do you guys see that? Look at the little like, zigzag. Okay, yeah, good thing I went with an old shirt because, like, it's getting on. Okay, I think that that's pretty good. It's, like, I didn't fully 
saturated but like it's pretty damp it says to do it like once a week for like damaged hair or like if your hair is more damaged obviously you can do it more frequently my hair's not super bad at the moment so it's probably like i don't need to do it like super regularly at least for 10 minutes and then i will come back and we can put some of this on 10 minutes has been and gone and it is time for this one apply a generous amount from scalp to end until hair is thoroughly saturated leave on for a minimum of 10 minutes longer if desired so i'm just gonna go with 10 minutes because i feel like my hair isn't too bad at the moment it just looks a bit wispy at the ends because she's pretty oily at the top i'm actually so excited to see how my hair feels after this like it's gonna feel like a dream also it smells amazing just thought i'd put that out there i think i've done a pretty good job with that so i'm gonna leave it for another 10 minutes and i'll be back to wash it off Hello, I'm back. It's now been another 10 minutes and it is time to wash it off using the shampoo and conditioner. So obviously I'm not going to show this on camera because it's a little bit weird. So let's do, I don't know, some sort of cool transition. Let's just go like this. And done. I was actually pleasantly surprised because I wasn't too sure how easily these two products here were going to wash out because I've used a lot of leave-in treatments that are like specialised for like my sensitive skin and whatever and they are a pain to wash out but these were zero issues one lot of shampoo one lot of conditioner and we were good to go these next two products are number six and seven so this is the bond smooth and this is the bonding oil so i was actually gonna about to buy this myself and then olaplex reached out to send it to me and i was like yeah of course when i was reading up about this it said in the reviews how you need like the tiniest amount and I was like, what does that even mean? And I've since learned it literally means the tiniest amount. So I'll show you guys how I go about these two. But these are to put in after you've washed your hair. So you can put it on damp hair or dry hair. I've done it both ways and they're both fairly much the same. Neither is better than the other. I do a little bit of this and a little bit of this. That's how they recommend doing it. You can do this one on its own or this one on its own. Or you can combine them. It's up to you. Obviously, if you're looking to save money, I'd probably just go for one of them. And I'd probably go for the oil. You only need like the tiniest amount. A little bit. And then this one is an oil so it's on like a little dripper thing and I literally just do like a few drops like this and normally I would brush my hair after I get out of the shower but I know that's really bad for it so I'm trying to stop doing that so I haven't done it today but I just kind of I don't know if this is how you're supposed to apply it but this is how I do it and that you just leave in until the next time you wash your hair. It reduces frizz and I love how the oil doesn't leave your hair oily. And they also work as a heat protectant up to 270 degrees Celsius and a UV protectant which is awesome for like the sun when we're in summertime we're outside. I love how it's a heat protectant as well because it doesn't leave your hair oily. It just kind of makes it quite shiny which I like. I find a lot of the ones I used to use where you spray them on they leave your hair quite oily after a couple days. I love this one because it doesn't do that. Those are all the products. Um, again it's Olaplex. Zero three four five six seven if you want to buy these and you're wondering which one to get i would probably recommend staying with the shampoo and conditioner that's what i did these two work really well together and some stores often do deals where you can get both of them for like a package deal i think that's what i did i honestly can't remember but yeah yeah thank you to olaplex for sending those items out to me these are still the original shampoo and conditioner that i bought originally and these are the other ones. The bottles are quite small, like 250 ml. You can see where I've used it up to, and I've been using this for like probably two, three months now. So it lasts a long time because you need like the tiniest amount. In fact, I saw this thing the other day that Olaplex shared of how much you actually need of each product. So I'll check it on the screen here so you can see because I was very surprised and found out I was using a lot more than I needed to. Time to get ready because we need to leave home very shortly for this football game. I'm not wearing I don't think I'm going to wear this. I'm not really vibing it. So I will see you guys shortly. Hello everybody, I'm currently, that, that, that's the zoo. Owen is playing at Seddon Fields in, well, what even is this area called? Western Springs, there you go. So I'm sitting in the car, I dropped him off at quarter past one, it's now 2.37, so I've been sitting in my car this whole time pretty much. I rang Morgan for a bit, like FaceTimed her for a bit, and then I went to go see if I could park any clothes, so I went for a walk, and I couldn't find anything, so then I came back to the car, I've been watching TikToks, but I'm probably going to head over in about 10 minutes to try and like find out where I'm actually supposed to be watching the game. It's really hot, I'm not wearing sunscreen, which I actually meant to grab on the way out when I was leaving home, but I forgot. I've got stuff on my face, but this is not the rest of my body, and I'm wearing a t-shirt, so I want to get really nice lines across there. Love that for me. I might try to stay in the shade if I can find some. But yeah, it's, why is it? It looks really cloudy out there. It's a beautiful day. It's really hot. Also, loving the Pahutakawa trees. But yeah, I'm pretty bored, not gonna lie. So the plan is, we've got this game. Starts at three, goes until like 
five and then we're heading to Mission Bay. We're gonna get some fish and chips, we're gonna get some ice cream, and then we're gonna go to the Golf Drive range, and then we're gonna go get some Krispy Kreme, and then we're gonna go home. But Joel Clissold, do you guys may know Joel? He's Owen's best friend. He's coming, he's actually played in Hamilton. He's from Auckland because Owen went to school with him last year, and he's playing in Hamilton at the moment. So after his game, he's gonna come, because his game started at one, so his game's only, in fact, his game would be finished by now. He's coming up and he's gonna try and catch like a bit of Owen's game and then he's gonna come with us. And then he's coming back, I'm pretty sure he's gonna stay at my place tonight because there's a game in the morning at like 6.30 a.m. I think. So they're gonna wake up and watch that together. So he's gonna come with us to Mission Bay. I don't know who the third wheel is, whether it's me or Joel, I don't know. But that's the plan anyway. I thought I'd put you guys in just in case I don't actually get a chance to vlog and it's just like clips of me not actually talking so you kind of know what's up. I really don't want to get sunburned. Owen's also starting today, I'm very excited. So yeah, let's go watch some football. We're back. Joel's here too. <laughs> How did the game go? Owen was fast. How did your game go, Joel? I was good. We won three In your game, Owen? We drew one all. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You played good. And we're now at Mission Bay and we're going to get Fish and chips she and made ice us cream. Walk from really far away. No. I'm so upset. <laughs> when you can't even see the beach from where you park. <laughs> I, just, I said in the vlog as well. Who's the third wheel right now? Emma, obviously. Emma. There we go. Alright, let's get oh, some food. Nice. <laughs> Try this. Krispy Kreme. With the children. You're the child. No, I'm we're going child. in because they. I I had an ice cream, so I'm not getting donuts. <laughs> You're gonna have some. <laughs> Can't even put them in the vlog. Come on. Oh, sorry, we'll redo that. Redo that. <laughs> I'm not even getting any donuts. Lies. You were definitely gonna have some. <laughs> All right. I didn't get anything, but they got a box each. Oh. This is what. This is behind the scenes of being athletes. It's just today's on us. Yeah. Come back tomorrow. Uh -oh. This is breakfast because we don't have any food. <laughs> yeah, probably actually will be breakfast to be fair. Right, we're going to drop Saint Joel John's off. Going. We're gonna film that. Oh, <laughs> Saint John's going. So Good morning, guys. Owen's a bit tired. I went to bed last night at nine o'clock. I got ten hours of no. I went to bed at 10 and got 10 hours of sleep, I got at 8. You, however, went to bed at 1 and woke up at 6.30. Didn't get quite so much sleep. Joel came and stayed last night and he got even less sleep than... No, but you know, he got more sleep than you. He went to bed later but woke up later. Anyway, we got tank. He's still pretty much asleep. Yeah, he's... Even though he's driving home. He's... Yeah. I, I, got I, a text. I hope he makes it home safely. We went and got tank because... We didn't have any food in the house for breakfast. But I now need to go buy some printer ink because my printer ran out of ink so I can't print any international labels, labels for the orders. So if you order an international order, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you. I just can't print the labels. So I'm gonna go buy some ink now. It's probably gonna cost me my life savings, but what flavor's my tank? And you think they're gonna wanna know what the flavor is? It's a fitness fix and Owen's got a strawberry lush. Basic. <laughs> yep. Right, let's go get some <clears throat> printer ink. Got the goods, looks like my lunch, but no, I promise there's printer ink in there. It's only 22 bucks as well, that's actually decent, because if you know how expensive computer ink is. We're now gonna drive to Hamilton, and we'll see when we get there. What are we doing when we get back? We've got like a barbecue, I don't know, am I coming to that? Well, I've got a couch to pick up anyway, so <laughs> might vlog that, who knows. All right, let's go to Hamilton. Hello guys, long time no see. Update of the day, it's now 5 p.m. I'm just about to head into church. I went to go pick up my couch and the girl I'm picking it up from, she works night shift, so she unfortunately was actually asleep. I feel really bad. Um, so I'm going back tomorrow to pick that up. And then I've just been at a family like barbecue thing with Owen and his family and I've just left to come to church and then I think I'm gonna go back afterwards, but church time. Let's go, I'm so excited. I haven't been to church because I've been away. I haven't been to church in like three weeks. I'm so excited. Haha, <laughs> hi, I'm back. Um, that was amazing. That was probably the one of the best church services I've ever been to in my life. Got a cute photo with Santa. Look at that. 
cute it is. Yeah, it was amazing. They had like the little like, because it rides like a nationwide thing. So they had like a, like a video that was like a skit and they had like a live like band thing. And then they're like, I don't know. It was just really good vibes. So feeling in a pretty good mood right now. But I'm going back to this Christmas party. I'm in a really weird mood. Also, my mum rang me mid-service. Haven't heard from my parents in over 24 hours because they've been in the middle of nowhere. So I rang her back and she was busy with someone else on the phone. So it's fine. Hello guys, it's now the next day and I have a car full of Christmas shopping. Oh and I've been Christmas shopping for the last three hours and I'm absolutely naked. He's currently in countdown trying to find some wrapping paper because we couldn't really find any anywhere else. I'm gonna close the close I can't I actually can't put a sentence together right now. I'm so tired. I don't know why I'm I this feel like shopping just drains your energy. I'm going to close the what was that, Emma? I'm gonna close off this vlog here and I will see you guys in my next video. I'm hoping to get this, today's Monday. I'm hoping to get this out by Wednesday. We'll see if that happens. But yeah, apart from that, stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, like and subscribe. I um, don't wanna say that, but if you guys saw my last video, I found out that only 25% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribers. So if you're in that 75%, what are you waiting for? Hope from that, stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video. I need a tripod.